Rain and bad light ensured that the thrilling LV County Championship match at the Emirates Durham International Cricket Ground, where Somerset are the visitors, will go into a final day with both sides still hopeful of victory. The morning session was lost to the weather, with Durham eventually resuming on 92 for 8 with a lead of 210. They needed Phil Muster to control the pattern of play rather than getting run out to the day's fourth ball as he tried to keep the strike. So it was left to numbers 10 and Jack to set Somerset as high a target as possible and Chris Rushworth and Graham Onions were able to add what could be an invaluable 22 runs for the last wicket, the second best partnership of their innings. Durham were finally dismissed for 116 when Alfonso Thomas had Rushworth caught behind for 18. Thomas finished with 4 for 29 as Somerset was set 235 for an opening match win. That was not going to be easy on a pitch where the bowlers have been largely dominant throughout. The visiting openers, Marcus Trescothic and Aral Sapaya, would have been well aware that the kind of target they'd been set required just one or two batsmen to dig in for some time. There seemed little sign of such digging, however, as both batsmen played some shots, as Somerset got off to a bit of a flyer, with 31 runs coming off the opening six overs, as neither Onions nor Rushworth could match their first innings heroics, where they claimed all 10 Somerset wickets between them. There was certainly still some assistance for the bowlers, however. Onions caused some concern for Triscothic before he dragged one back off the pitch to trap Sapire in front for 17. Triscothic was in a determined mood at one end, while Craig Keyswetter, who claimed five catches in Durham's second innings, now came in at number three and played freely. With Nick Compton and Alviro Peterson to join this side next week, Keyswetter is unlikely to keep the number three spot, but he wanted to show that it was a sound decision to put him there in this match. And he dominated a second wicket stand with his captain, which was worth 43 runs to put Somerset in a decent position in their run chase. So the wicket of Triscothic was a very big one, and Ben Stokes got it as the batsman dragged a bouncing ball back onto his stumps to depart for 22 at 74 for two. And had this ball from Callan Thorpe not bounced quite as much as it did and James Hildreth had been removed early on, then Durham would have been well on top. But as it was, Hildreth got himself in by striking Stokes for a couple of fours in the same over and that would have sent messages back to the dressing room that this surface was not a minefield and that the target was definitely a gettable one. Alas, bad light then drove the players off so we'll have to wait until the last day to find out Weather permitting, Somerset will go again on 96 for 2, with Hildreth on 12 and Keyswetter on 39, and that means they need a further 139 runs to complete an impressive comeback.